welcome everyone. I'm very excited to work together with you uh, and share the insights of Aluo Ifafore. A lot of people know him on the YouTube channel as an incredible teacher. And he is working with me today to share out what Irete Obara and the reading of the year that's been cast by the IFA Foundation can mean to you in your life. So welcome, Aluo. Alafia, thank you for having me. I'd love for you to share what we were talking about earlier, the way that people can view living life today after going through so many different challenges in the last few years, and what is really open to us now, new beginnings, new light, new ways to see, new ways to move. And the matrix of this reading is uh, providing us with a map that we can do so much more with for our lives. So I'd love for uh, Oluo if I'm ready to start. Thank you. Ah, uh, sure. No problem. So I think we should start maybe from the 30,000 foot perspective and work our way down. Certainly, Rete Obara has uh, some implications for those of us that are initiated IFA priests. Uh, and for you IFA priests out there who may or may not be watching this, roll up your sleeves and get to work is what the Odu says. Uh, but for those of you that are not, there are different implications. Irete uh, is always talking about pressure, um, whether it's the pressure we feel during initiation, those of us that are initiated, uh, it also is one of the signs of Olokun, which is all about pressure, bringing forth abundance. Um, but it's talking about pressure that needs to be dealt with through determination and discipline in order to let, us el let it elevate us to new heights. Um, from a practical perspective in Ifai, Rete is also the Odu of Nana Baruku. And for those of you that are not familiar with that energy, uh, that's the energy that provides healing, both physical healing and emotional spiritual healing, and is the antidote, for lack of a better term, um, to the spirit of infectious disease. When I saw this Odu hit the uh, Opon and I saw that it came in Iray, uh, I instantly had a smile because the Odu says to me that in 2022, it's time to say goodbye to this uh, pandemic as we know it and the way that we treat it. And we should look forward to the antidote or the solution to the pandemic. Now, dealing with that on the everyday side brings us over to Obara on the emotional, spiritual side. And Obara means many things, but what we're reminded of in Obara is the story of Oba Koso, which is the story of Shango. It's the idea of having the courage to do the right thing in the moment and doing the right thing and being courageous makes us transcend all of our problems and elevate with spirit or come together. And I think in this time in our history, uh, it's never been more evident that we need to come together as one people if we're going to survive and if we're going to get to the next level. Uh, Obara reminds us to listen to one another, to come with humility to not worry about our agenda, our ego, the things that we think are necessarily right, but to understand that we don't know it all, that we need to come together as one people, and that whether we agree or not, we need to treat each other with civility. Mm -hmm. um, I provided Vasa with a verse from Baba Salami uh, from his book, and the verse essentially says that we need to pour honey all over our problems in order to make them go away. In other words, we need to tackle everything with sweetness. And when I saw the Odu uh, on path, Oshae D, that's what came to mind, is the only way that we're going to move forward as a people, move forward as a country, move forward in Ifa, uh, and realize the blessings of 2022 is if we approach all of these, all of these so-called problems with sweetness. And that means that if you're, if you're a Republican and your neighbor is a Democrat, there's no reason you can't disagree in sweetness. FIFA is all about inclusion and about diversity. Elodomare loves diversity, and that's clear in our faith and in our Odu. So it's time to start treating everybody with respect, with sweetness, with kindness, and help out your fellow man. And we will put an end to this, uh, what everyone calls is a pandemic, and we will re resume normal life. Um, the EB cast is very telling as well. Irete erosu. So the same sign that's in our main odu, irete. Uh, if we don't handle it properly, will be what throws us off for the year. And again, irete, for those of you that are not initiated, is about pressure, either allowing pressure to elevate you, make you a better person, a stronger person, a wiser person, or allowing pressure to be the excuse that breaks you. 
and using that as the excuse for poor behavior, for not elevating your lineage, for not doing the right things, et cetera. Yes. And, and just really quickly, for those of you that are initiated, Irete and Obara are both Ifa signs, both signs that speak to Ifa priests differently. Right. Telling you to roll up your sleeves and do your Ifa work this year. Mm -hmm. That means get on the mat every morning and say your daily prayer. Get out your get out your chain or your nuts or your obi, whatever your tool is, and do your readings for yourself and those that you love, and follow the prescribed sacrifices and the prescribed advice. Right. It is drawing a line in the sand for what you believe, for what you understand, and not compromising on that. Again, that doesn't mean being assertive, being aggressive being a jerk it just means be strong in who you are what you know what you believe and uh, let your EFA work carry you throughout the year yeah it's definitely the year we really want to start if you have been waiting it's time to stop waiting and get going because the arete is going to push you in there because you can this year produce an amazing great successful life building amazing relationships with people changing things not only in your own world around you, but out there because your frequency that you're vibrating is gonna put something more positive out there. It's really a great time to honor your own uniqueness, what your ancestors built you with, why are you here, and what are you gonna manifest while you're here, right? So IFA has the grid system for us, it, and we have all kinds of techniques we can learn through working with IFA, using the different rituals, doing the different ways that you wanna to connect to, to these energies, um, speaking it in your own way, right? Because we, it's it's an individual relationship that you build with each of the entities inside this path, right? But to honor our uniqueness, so we don't look at others and fear them that you know somebody's going to be taken from us or somebody's going to harm us. That we're strong, and this is a, a year about strengthening yourself, strengthening your character, your conviction to yourself and to the work you're gonna go out there and do in your purpose. When you're on that spiritual mission and knowing that you have this truth and that you are, are you know, doing it with good character and that you are treating people well, you know, that you're, you know, like they were saying about uh, working with honey, sweetening your messaging, you, there's a way to deliver your truth. And, you know, the way that you just, vibrate within yourself, you know, treating yourself. This comes back to your own self-care, your own self-love. First, it has to come from there. I know a lot of people say, oh, I can do it for everybody else. I just can't do it for me. That is not the first way to start, right? Build the inner techniques that help you get really knowing of yourself, what your gifts are, what you can really do. And, and this is the time to go out there and do more, right? shine and, brighter and in that same vein there is a way to receive someone else's truth as well yes. uh, i like the idea that when someone says something to you if it makes you angry or makes you upset it's something within you that you need to look at not within the person who delivered the message right. um, so it's really important that we can hear other people's truths that we can right. hear other people's opinions we don't have to agree with them but yeah. there's no reason why we still can't treat that person with sweetness with yeah. kindness, with empathy, with right. attempting to understand where they're coming from, uh, instead of allowing it to drive us to a place where we, we behave poorly. The other thing that I think is important, and Ian and I were having this discussion, was the idea that uh, you have to do the work. Mm -hmm. Th this is a roadmap, and the shrines, the tools, the offerings, the abodes are all connective points uh, or agreements but the, the agreement is that we're going to do the work. Right. So when we're going to make different it, choices from doing the work, right? Right. Yeah. Right. We're, yeah. we're going to react differently. We're going to uh, act differently. We're going to think differently. We're going to have new patterns of behavior. Uh, whatever the case may be, right. we have to do the work. No magical force is going to come down from the heavens and change your life. You're going to change your life. Ifa right. says that we create our reality. And we do that. We do that through our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. Uh, and until you start thinking differently, speaking differently, and acting differently, you're going to get exactly what you've been getting. Aluo, I think so many people have become judges. They're judging everything, 
everybody, everything, right? And then they're putting this emotional attachment to that. And for me, in walking this path for so long now, I feel like everything comes to me as to experience it, not to judge it, not to push it away, but to embrace all of it. Like Arumula brings it for a reason to my life, right? And I accept it and I say, okay, what am I gonna learn from this? And, and like enjoy the process of it, even though it can have some feelings that don't feel so good sometimes, but the whole thing is to trust that it's, it's an experience for me. And oh, all sure. of the things that happen to you in your life, instead of putting a big judgment on it and putting it into a box in a category, just say, well, okay, it's here. Let me do something with that, right? Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Aoife, one of Aoife's taboos is ju- uh, make no judgments. It's taboo in Aoife to make judgments. And why is that? Because we're all finite beings. Right. How can a finite being judge another finite being? There's only one judge, and that judge is not finite. Right. Um, so like you said, you experience something. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to accept it into your matrix and make it part of who you are. You learn from but it. <laughs> but you have to honor that it's yeah. out there and yeah. that it's somebody else's experience and opinion. And, you know, either embrace it or say, you know, keep that to yourself. But if even if you say keep that to yourself, you don't have to do it in such a way uh, that it becomes confrontational or causes a conflict. Right. Kind of move over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, it teaches well, that the hallmark of this philosophy is yeah. tranquility and peace. Exactly. And so that means you can disagree peacefully. Right. You can still have tranquility in your right. home and with your neighbors if you disagree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we are working with um, the, the mothers, the birthers. We're working with Shay Go. Um, the, the powerful energy of the creators. I mean, we were created with goodness and we were created with a beautiful song to sing as we're here, you know? And we have purpose, we have meaning. And to honor yourself for being here, figuring it out, you know, to really understand what are the blessings that I can to, you know, put out of myself into this universe? What can I leave behind that would improve things, right? Things, right? What can I share in my own family line that I learned? And I mean, yes, you learn things from people that you may not like the person, but they're a teacher. They wouldn't come in your life unless you were to learn, you were supposed to learn something from them, right? And it's just accepting that truth is there. A room meal puts exactly what you need. Nature never gives you more than you need, right? So. Ifa teaches that we're all born omo re re, good and blessed children. And sometimes the experiences of our life or some lineage stuff or circumstances or all of the above uh, takes away from that. And it's our job to get back to that place, back in alignment with our best and highest self. And there are many ways that we do that. If you're not an Ifa priest or you don't work this path, I have a really easy solution for you. Do the right thing in the moment and you'll be in alignment with your destiny. Feels amazing. Right. However, however, for those of us that are for priests or uh, choose to go down that road and, and really dive into this, that's the purpose of our divinations. Our divinations are to tell us what we need, what lessons we're supposed to be learning in the moment and how to get the most out of them. And if we're not in alignment, what the solution to that is for us. And if we are in alignment, what we need to accentuate and ramp up to do even better than we're doing now. Yes. It is time to be your own manifester and get out there and elevate others, you know, around you. And then just let that cascade out, ripple effect, right, into the universe. So we can all feel like we're a part of something that's doing good. That Asha. we're bringing change, positive change. And we are, you know, uh, coming out of a, a big fatigue. A lot of people are exhausted from what they've experienced the stress from. And um, that... There's quantum leaps we can make right now with Arete Ovar as our path. We can really go places. So look at you know what is possible and look at ways you can elevate yourself. This is a time to initiate change within yourself. So for me, it, it starts with how you're eating. If you're eating clean and your, 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 your thoughts are gonna be cleaner. You're gonna be much better at choosing, right? And your attitude is much better. <laughs> Not to mention your body's going to be in a much better place to fight off a oh, virus yeah. if, if yes. you should pick it up. 
Right. Uh, if you're eating right, if you're exercising, if you're at your optimal weight, if your cardiovascular and your pulmonary systems are, are operating ideally, then you're going to be in a much better place to fight off infection, uh, to generate the antibodies you need. And then you can go out there in the world without fear of this right. virus. Without the fear. Yes. Knowing that also that you are um, aligning, you know? And, and that strong base that, you know, which all your O2s are part of what builds that for you. But when you elevate, when you are thinking without anger, without fear, when you're operating in a creative thought process, a loving way, you're connected to your heart brain, you're really thinking through your heart brain, you're feeling in touch with your own intuition, you trust your own intuition, really get good at that, you know? Really, I mean, so many people have, lost touch with themselves you know and they've lost trust with themselves and this matrix of ifa um, has lots of tools to help you get there get back in touch get more order into your life get more great ideas to use and all the all the odus and arisha are, are ideas for you and but you have to embrace them you have to connect to them and you have to bring them inside your thought process right Ashe, well said here. or okay. what I see in this reading is Irete Rosun to me says that uh, if people choose to, they can make excuses for bad patterns of behavior and short-term fixes to problems, which never work. Um, it's important that we take the pressure that we felt coming out of 2021 and into 2022 and allow that to elevate us to new heights. Don't allow it to be the excuse for bad behavior, for bad thought patterns, for bad uh, speaking. Don't let it be the excuse of, oh, I feel so much pressure from this virus that I can't do such and such, uh -huh. or I feel so worried because of this, that, or the other that I can't change my patterns of behavior, or I don't know where to start. You start by starting is the answer. Uh, yeah. Just do, do something differently, yeah. something better. Move in with it, um, yeah. And we as a people, Erosun, we as a people can't look for short-term solutions to long-term problems. Mm. Um, the stuff that we face as a society, as a country, as a planet, from climate change to the virus to the economic ups and downs, these are major problems. Mm. And if we look for band-aid shortcut solutions, we will fail. We need to look for long-term solutions okay. to problems. Okay. And that means that we take good care of ourselves, that, uh, as I said before, I think everybody is going to get this virus in some way, shape, or form and develop antibodies, i.e. a long-term solution, instead of uh, a, a shot every six months. Um, we need to come together on climate change and understand that we are only renting this world, uh, that we're going to leave it to our kids, and what kind of world do we want to leave them. We need to come together on socioeconomic issues. But if we look for Band-Aids, for short-term fixes, for these problems, we're gonna wind up in a bigger mess than we are now. And the, read, the reading is very clear about that. The only thing that we can do is look to Ifa, look to spiritual discipline, look to spirit to guide us, mm -hmm. do the right thing in the moment, be strong, be courageous, and treat each other well. Come with, come with sweetness when we encounter these problems. That's beautiful, I love it. Asha. I could close right there. I think that's a great thing to leave in people's minds as we, Wish you the very best to connect with what's available to you. There is so many great opportunities this year to live an enormously strong, healthy life and really manifest some great things with your gifts, your uniqueness. Let it come out. Use it and show us, show more people what you have. Ashe. Don't be afraid to use it, right? Ashe. I'm so looking forward to that. I'm, you know, I myself am expanding. I know you're expanding. And um, we just want to see more people doing that as well. Right? Ashe. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for the discussion. Thank you. Thank you.